how the lift relates with the R series to the S series because we've got the two sizes in or released now 770 and 860 and they don't really relate to the S series so if you're already familiar with the S series you might know how they behave but I guess the 770 is probably more relatable to say maybe the 850 or the 980 sort of maybe somewhere in between but closer to the 850 is how I feel it although we had a customer here just say he finds it closer to the 980 but gives you a good idea of how far off the number is it doesn't relate so that's something to keep in mind the 860 I guess is famous for James's flat water paddler to win the worlds so obviously heaps of bottom end still a lot of top end and the lift of that is probably closer to our somewhere between the 980 and the 1130. For me, it feels somewhere closer to the 980, but yeah, it's only 860, so the numbers aren't really, so yeah, they're, they're, they're way off. They write a lot bigger than the number says, and the range is huge due to that aspect ratio. One thing I get asked quite a bit is, for even for wingers, you know, should I get an R series because I want to go fast? The thing about an R series is that it has a higher average speed, so it actually it probably doesn't have a higher top end speed than the S series wing because on a wing you've got an engine basically so you, you're powered up all the time what the R series does well is go from having high energy to nothing and linking to the next lot of energy without slowing down so it has a higher average speed which is what we look for in downwind racing so it's a kind of a downwind racing wing I mean feel free to try it on your wing it'll be a different feel heaps of glide if you want to do winging downwinders or something but they're probably the reasons that the two ranges exist the s is such a good all-round you could pretty much own an s series and do everything well even downwind and if you're not into downwind racing the s still downwind so well and is so carbonable downwind because it's still 9.5 ratio has plenty of glide and that's kind of like a little a little way to kind of answer the what wing fits where i think with the range um yeah, so hopefully that that kind of for, for code users lets them know where the R series fits in as far as lift. If I was gonna label them as far as lift goes from smallest to biggest in the whole range, it'd probably be 720, 850, 770, close behind, 980, 860, close behind, and then 1130. More to come in the future.